crafty people, it's Legal Beagle here from Legal Beagle Panda Creations, and it is time for our Cricut featured cartridge. Yes, we, list, we missed last month, but this month you're getting a twofer. Um, we're going to be doing, going through both of the Disney Princess cartridges, the Happily Ever After and the Dreams Come True. Now, both of these cartridges are, let's get down with the main thing. They are full Cricut cartridges, so they come with our nice handy dandy full overlay. They have six creative function keys, so you're going to have your base layer and then you're going to have your layer for the flesh, the layer for the outfit, the layer for the whites or extras. You're going to have an icon layer, a shadow for the icon layer and your base image, and you're going to have a charm layer. And so these cartridges just fill a multitude of things so let's just dive straight in to the cartridge now what I've noticed about each of these cartridges is that or both of these cartridges I should say is that they kind of have a rhythm with the um, with the characters and so the first thing you're gonna get is you're gonna get a page that has the title of the movie and the characters name clearly when we get there's going to be somewhere those are one and the same, but you're going to get the name of the character and the title of the movie and the backgrounds to go with them. Then on most of the images, you're going to have this kind of silhouette and this uh, kind of feature so that you can kind of make a cameo of the character. And then you're going to get also a little charm section feature of it. So all of the movies have that. Then the next thing they do is that they do a close up of the character and all of the extras in the page of the on the booklet come with things that obviously come or accessories that for the movie so you're gonna get a close-up of her and then you usually get one of them holding their face you get another one of them either sitting down or laying down you're gonna get one of them in their dress of choice and then you're also gonna get some of the characters whether it's um, Sebastian or and let me just zoom out just a little bit Sebastian or Finder um, if they have a bow you're gonna get pictures of them with their bow um, in their wedding uh, attire and then you're gonna get this nice kind of border and it's always gonna be thematic so with um, Ariel it's gonna be coral and then what I really love is you get these frames and I think the frames are so cute and so beautiful when they they're put together and if they live in a castle you'll get their castle as well and then it just goes on for each character again you're gonna get Belle from Beauty and the Beast you'll get her close-up and so for this one you're gonna get Mrs. Potts and Luminaire and you'll get the Beast, um, Cogsworth, her border is Mrs. Potts and the Teapots. You're going to get the lovely frames again, the castle. For Aladdin, you get Jasmine. So again, it goes through the same thing and then you'll get the Genie and Abu and the Magic Carpet. All of those are accessories that go with that, and I hope the glare is not too bad. Then for Pocahontas, really odd, Pocahontas does not have a cameo. They just kind of give you the bow and arrow. Pretty much that's it. Um, and there's really no fancy dress for her, but they do give you one of her standing upright. You do get the frames, and then you get the dream come true phrases and hearts and different things like that and that's this cartridge so happily ever after actually has the same six creative function keys which is another reason why we did this these two together and they they do they handle it just the same way you're gonna get the name of the character remember I told you if the name is the same sometimes they don't redo it so this one you only get one but you're going to get the same thing as you had before. The close-ups. And then with Cinderella, you'll get Gus and Raphael. And you'll get the fairies and the pumpkins. And 
you'll get the frames again you get the glass slipper you get her castle sleeping beauty you get aurora and you'll get you know like the rose petals like how they fell and fairy godmothers Then for Snow White, you're getting, Snow White they actually did a little bit different because they actually put her name in script and gave you a block kind of font for the lettering. But again, the same thing, the close up of the face. And then of course with Snow White, you're gonna get the seven dwarfs, which you're gonna see later because one of the projects I did was a, a set of cards featuring all seven dwarfs. She doesn't get a castle, she gets a hut. And then you have Mulan. And again, Mulan is another one that does not, they don't give you the silhouette for. And there's really no kind of fancy dress for her. So you get the long dress and that's pretty much it. And then you get the frames. Although I love this cherry tree type or blossom. And then you get the phrases happily ever after. And so those are the two um, Cricut cartridges that we're featuring this month. They're basically kind of the same in terms of how they're set up. They deal with eight different movies um, across the Disney spectrum with the princesses. Again, it is one that you can use with your create, your expression, although the book does say that it is better to use the expression. I will tell you and you will see that it cuts wonderfully with the Explorer if you have that. So let's get to the projects. Now, here's one of the projects. I made this layout. Um, I had a friend who's kids saw went to like the Disney breakfast and saw the princesses for the first time and was like oh so I went ahead and did a layout featuring all of the lovely ladies with their hands kind of propped under their faces kind of mimicking the picture and then leaving a space for where a little journaling tag can go so they can kind of com commemorate when this was and what the reaction was so and I'll show you towards the end a little bit more of a close-up of the faces the Explorer cut all the little tiny pieces for this, absolutely beautiful. I just wanted to show you, so I'm sorry for the unsteady hands, of how great the Explorer was able to cut the eyes and cut the little openings and the outfits. Even the belly button, check that out. You know, and then we have like this one. Look at how smooth it cut. All right, then we did some cards. And so we'll zoom in just a little bit better so that you can see. And so we did um, this one featuring Doc and it just has a little stamp up. This is need you to know I'm here for you. And we added a little bit of anchoring bling and some washi tape. We have Bashful who we have some pearlized um, bling right there and it says, have a day filled with and on the inside, cool technique. Love, so we stamped, put ink on our stamp, stamped it one time and then stamped it again to get the lighter shade and then did the love with the first type of stamping, like loading it all up. We've got Dopey, don't let, don't let anyone dull your sparkle. And I thought that that was really cute. And then we took this paper because it was so nice and we edged it on the inside to give it a little decorative element on the inside. Then we have Sneezy and he's ha carrying a little sign that says get well soon. This sign is actually free swinging and can come out of its little hidey hole but it looks as if he's carrying it because we have it tucked in between his fingers. Then there's Happy and we just took some stamps of notes that we had and stamped at the background. We did a masking because this just a note was actually part of a larger stamp. We masked it out and we did that for Happy. Grumpy probably is one of my favorite Disney characters. And I got this stamp down here from at the at Scrapbooking Expo from the Rubber Necker um, uh, booth. And it says, I wake up with a good attitude every day and then idiots happen. So perfect for Grumpy. And then we have Sleepy, which is just this card i actually didn't do any thing on the inside but hopefully you'll be able to see it i was able to emboss it with this nice embossing folder that had um clouds on it so he's drifting and looking on clouds now again the expression cut out these cuts really well 
any bumps or lumps that you may see completely user error of me not realizing how to get the little tiny corners or small edges down so i hope you enjoy the little card series and i hope you enjoyed the overview of the disney um, cartridges and thanks for watching and i'll see you again